AI technology has been exponentially increasing in attention. You're probably wondering if it is actually a better solution than the current methods or techniques that you're using. In this video, I will be using Twinmotion compared to Veris AI to render the same building. At the end of the video, I will reveal personal opinions on both of the softwares. On my channel, I've been on a journey to discover the best softwares and techniques to help you guys separate yourself and prepare for the future. This has led me to the deepest depths of the newest and wildest technologies, the good and the bad. If you are unfamiliar with Veris AI, this is what it is. It's an AI plugin to help output renders quickly. It uses scripts that you write to gather data to implement into your design real time, unlike Midjourney, Dolly, and the other AI image generators. It actually applies to the prompt and the current 3D model that you have. I will compare Veris AI with Twinmotion based on the render outputs. And if you are not familiar with Twinmotion, then you must check out what's new in Twinmotion 2023 right here. Using the same 3D model, I am going to generate and compare renders from the exterior, interior, and side plan, as well as a bonus render at the end of the video. So stay until then. I tested various renders trying to get the feel for the program. There was a pretty small learning curve. It just takes some time and some trial and error to get it figured out. You have to get a feel for how much to adjust the settings of creativity, but also the right prompts and what words carry the most weight. Now with Twinmotion, I already had previous experience in using this software. So all the time that it took was just putting in all the assets and then spending time messing with the settings and getting the best lighting possible. Some of the benefits to using Twinmotion for an exterior render is being able to have the flexibility to set up the background and use realistic skies. The HDR skies, they're excellent at providing the best lighting onto your building and context. It makes the renders extremely realistic. Not to mention, Twinmotion has the capacity to go up to 8K and 16K rendering outputs, which is so much more than Veris AI. But on the flip side, Veris AI generates scenes from scripts, but they're not always relevant. This is a great way to get quick ideas out there, and it takes under 30 seconds for these renders to generate, which is a lot quicker than what Twinmotion can do. In Veris AI, forms and objects don't always get fully developed. And what I mean by that, as you can see in some of these renders, there's either buildings or context that aren't relevant to what I put in the prompt, or objects like trees and people might not fully get developed and don't necessarily look realistic or fit in at all. Now the free trial is what I was using and it doesn't provide the highest quality rendering settings either. So this is just a test to kind of see the capabilities of Veris AI. And if you do end up paying for it, you get higher qualities, but the quality still will not match that of Twinmotion, Lumion, etc. And another thing to note with Veris AI is the reflections aren't always completely accurate. Sometimes they're blurry or the glass isn't fully transparent and so it looks more like frosted glass even though you did not intentionally try to have that happen. In general, as you can see in this image, Veris AI did a great job of applying materials and making it look realistic. Veris AI did a good job of having the correct scale and texture of every material that was applied to the building. I tested various renders trying to get the feel for the program. There is a small learning curve to Veris AI, but once you get over some of the minor details, like typing in the correct prompt and getting the right creativity settings, which require some trial and error, it's really easy to move forward from this step. This is the render that I produced using Twinmotion. Now the great thing about Twinmotion is you're able to have the flexibility to set up the exterior setting and background using HDR skies, which are highly realistic, but also adding site context and being able to mess with the topography and just everything around it. Twinmotion also provides fully realistic forms and graphic models. Being able to use their Quixel library, among other things, provides great assets that are very realistic and give the right scale and are great just overall to add to your renderings. And not to mention the fact that Twinmotion has a very high rendering output. Being able to do renders at 8K and even 16K if your computer is able to handle that. Now for the interior views, this is really interesting. I felt like this could be a challenge for Veris AI just because you have to have a lot of assets inside and you have to render an exterior setting as well. As we had some troubles in the exterior renders, glass also confused it a little bit on the interior. Sometimes it rendered as solid and other times it rendered glass, but the outside 
wasn't exactly what it should have been. Overall, the interior lighting that Varus provided was pretty good, but it struggled to reveal the outdoor and the proper lighting through the windows. All the assets provided on the interior were realistic and relevant accessories, and they were placed throughout the room, giving good sense of scale and volume. One of the benefits of Twin Motion compared to Varus is you have the flexibility on your own to be able to put in whatever you want. Although that might take more time to be able to curate your perfect render, as a final result, Twin Motion provides more flexibility. But in addition, it really has amazing lighting. And if you combine good lighting with good reflections in Twin Motion, the output is gonna look amazing and just like this one. It will take more effort and time in Twin Motion to curate a great interior render, but as you can see, this interior render definitely turned out a lot better than Varus AI. In my opinion, the interior Varus render turned out a lot better and was more realistic than the exterior render. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments which one you think is the best. Moving on to the site plan. Now you can see the shadows are really good and overall the realistic capability of Twin Motion is shown through this render. I will say though, it took a lot of time to curate this site plan and I think that's where Varus AI might have an edge. Sometimes the site context is very vague, and if you're doing a creative project, you might not know what is gonna be on the site, and so there's a lot of room for creativity. And because Varus AI generates these images so quickly, it provides a great ground for plenty of creativity to be provided in the render. Now, as you can see, this is a very good site plan render um, by Varus AI. Although the building changed form a little bit and some of the materials were off because I think the creativity setting was a little bit higher on this one, but even though sometimes it's changed up, good or bad, I think overall rendering a site plan would be much easier in Varus AI. And a bonus tip is render it in Varus AI and then place on top the actual building. And so that way the context is easily rendered really quick. So then the building is also accurate. Now, because Varus uses AI technology to render these images, it gives some room for creativity and you can start to have some fun. This is very useful for when you're maybe trying to use like a different style of architecture or even trying to show weather within your image. So doing like a snow render or having rain. I found that Varus struggled doing like night renders, but if you tried to get it to like a sunset or sunrise, something like that, it did have some pretty good capabilities when it comes to that. Now compared to Twin Motion, Twin Motion actually shows night renders and renders weather extremely well. Whether it's snow or rain, day or night, Twin Motion has great render outputs as long as the user kind of knows how to properly use it. So this is the Twin Motion render side by side with the Varus AI render. In Twin Motion, you have full control, but it takes more time to curate your images. It is great for final production, providing great resources for presentation animations and VR. Varus AI has some control over what you're trying to do, but relies on the knowledge of the database and AI, but it is also fast, so you can quickly work out design iterations and create ideas instantly. I would say Varus AI is definitely better than Midjourney and Dolly, at least for architects, because the image is actually relevant to the building and context that you are constructing. Not only that, but you're able to use your 3D model in Revit, and in the future, it will be in Rhino and SketchUp. So that is a huge plus over those other softwares. So far, it's on its early stages of development, but can be used for client meetings where you're just trying to show them different ideas. And if a client asks for a deviation or what this could look like, you can easily type in, okay, what does this look like with a wood material versus concrete and stuff like that? And you can get those images generated within minutes. And that may be a benefit to using Varus AI over a twin motion or other rendering software where you have to go back and curate that specific render and then re-render it out to get what the client was looking for. Another thing is Varus AI doesn't quite have the assets or the quality to compete with the high visualization engines like twin motion and Lumion, etc. But it's just another tool out there that architects and designers can use to speed up the generation of ideas. If you are interested in seeing the capabilities of Varus AI in action, Make sure to check out this video. Thank you for watching and welcome to the grind.